Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Lit Capital. It's market outlook for you. It's Friday, the 6th of December. Uh, we're just going to talk about a few setups that we gave out in our Telegram and give you an update on, on what's been happening throughout the week. Hope you guys have enjoyed your trading week. Um, there are the, the setups we've given out. Some of them have been profitable. I hope you guys caught them. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So, what we want to show you guys to begin with is uh, Euro USD. This was given out on the Monday, uh, posted by myself. So I hope you guys were paying attention to this. So uh, if we go down to the smaller time frame, what we was actually hoping to see was uh, we had this initial reaction. Uh, and then when the actual markets opened the following day, we was hoping to get a push back down into these last down candles before getting this explosive move up. Uh, very lucrative. So. The reason we knew it would have been a buy was we had higher targets to identify. So we identified these relatively equal highs. So we knew uh, it gave a, a reason for it to make this push up. And um, there was also some Euro news as well as negative USD news, which helped in, in the trade with PMI results coming up. Uh, Euro PMI data was positive and the, Euro, the USD PMI was actually negative. Um, I wrote a blog about it on Lit Capital. Be sure to check it out at litcapital.co.uk. Um, very, very good update on there for you. So what we're seeing now with price, we're actually getting a push back down lower. And uh, if you guys don't know, it was NFB, NFP day today, sorry, uh, which is non-farm payroll. So the USD actually had positive news for that. So I'm just, I'm going to get into that a bit, but yeah, NFP. So the reason we've got these uh, relatively bearish candles right now is because, yeah, USD is very strong and had positive data today. So overall, I'm still bullish on Euro USD. I do believe this to just be pulling back to lower areas again, as uh, I was actually targeting uh, a bit higher up for my final TP. I did take profit, most of my profits here. Um, but final TP, I wanted to come into this area and then play the sell, but we didn't get it. So um, I do believe, you know, we could be experiencing just a pullback and then a push higher up to then finally get the big sell. Um, another trade we gave up was US 30. This was beautiful. Um, so what we saw on this, it took a while to play out. So I actually called a sell. Um, somewhere in this this ranging area, um, I can't remember the exact price, but we was in, we was in ranging for about three four days. I was in a bit of drawdown, um, but I, I held the trade as I knew we had reasons to come lower or reasons to uh, pull back, basically. So we did get that lucrative move. So this was over. It was a great trade. I think it was like eight hundred pips. Eight, eight, eight hundred and eight sixty, eight fifty around there, and then as again, uh, we are experiencing now. So the the structure for us was broken on the four hour. So we are naturally going to experience a correction back up to the higher areas. We could, I don't think we'll get the sell today, but I will be looking to short this again. Um, you know, but it's just we're gonna we're gonna let the market play out, and we're not really gonna do an analysis today. We're gonna let the market keep going, and hopefully update you guys on the market outlook on Sunday. So be sure to tune in for that. Um, but yeah, definite great great move with this sell we caught, and the last trade uh, that I personally was given out was USD CAD. Uh, again, a lot of range in. Um, I called the sell within this candle here, but it did take, you know, days to finally play out. But with uh, Canadian interest rate news coming out, we got, we finally got the excuse to come lower. So um, yeah, another good trade, but overall we are still bullish on USD CAD. Uh, we just took out uh, some, some liquidity areas here, but now we're experiencing with the NFP uh, prices pushing higher. So, I am due to, you know, analyze again, once I said, when the market's closed, I'm not going to be looking to take a trade as, you know, finishing the trading week's pretty much done for me personally. Um, so be sure to check those charts out and 
the NFP uh, blog will be launching at releasing, sorry, at 6 p.m. So tune in to litcapital.co.uk, have a read on the NFP data and what exactly happened today. Yeah, you're good, bro. Okay, guys, hope you're well. Um, just a quick update on the AUD CAD that we called last week. We've had some fun on this one throughout the week and was able to catch 130 pips from the 9100 era. So as you can see, um, I just want to quickly take you for a quick look on the daily time frame. Just show you what I'm seeing. Um, one second. So, of course, the market's been making lower lows for a little while now. And regarding the structure, we believe it's turned to bullish. As you can see, it stopped making lower lows over here. So we're now going to look at buys. If I just quickly come back to the four hour, today we've had a good reaction. There's been a bullish reaction. So throughout next week, I don't think we'll get the move today. But throughout next week, I'll be checking out the 89,800 area and the 90,000 yeah, 90, area. Um, just monitoring this one. So stay tuned. We will be uh, posting this in the Telegram and monitoring this throughout the week. Okay, guys, just another one I want to take you through. This is just a quick update on the NZD Swiss franc. This is a trade I called. And as you can see on the daily, we've had a nice retracement into the discounted areas and price begins to stall at this area. So the criteria was strong to enter. Um, if I just quickly take you down to the four hour, I personally entered this trade with a twin trade. So I was able to catch 30 pips. However, I was waiting on us to gain at least 50 pips before we moved our stop loss to break even. So this is why it's hugely important and what we teach all our students that at least 30 to 50 pips in profit on any trade, you should always move the stop loss to break even. If it does come back, you can always just re-enter. So again, we'll be looking at this one. I'll be analyzing it and monitoring it throughout the week. And again, stay tuned to the Telegram and we will be uh, calling anything in there.